And it is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Monday, November the 2nd, 2015. Brought to you today by the First Bank along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Randy Olson, photographer with National Geographic, is in our area taking pictures for the National Geographic magazine and a story about the Ogallala Aquifer, which will run in the magazine next year. And he posted a picture of the cow train in operation in downtown Milshu last Wednesday night at the Harvest Fest and Trunk or Treat of the First Baptist Church of Milshu on his Instagram and also the National Geographic Instagram. By the way, the National Geographic Instagram has 35 million followers and it got... 303,247 likes and 708 comments about the cow train at the Harvest Fest of First Baptist Church of Milshu. On Sunday morning, we also shared it on our Facebook backslash Gail Lamb and our Twitter as well. Isn't that something? All around the world, it has gone. Our little cow train and the First Baptist Church of Muleshoe. Also, we did a very interesting interview with Randy Olson, the photographer with National Geographic magazine. And you can find it right now on the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com, as well as here on Reach Broadband Channel 6. Enrollment in the Muleshoe Independent School District is up 46 students over this time last year. As of this past Friday, October the 30th, there were 1,469 students enrolled in the Muleshoe school system. That included 377 at MHS. 12 are enrolled at PEP school. And at Watson Junior High, there are 293. At Mary D. Shazo, in the third through the fifth grade, 346. And in the Dillman Elementary School, 453. Now, last year, there were 1,423 students enrolled at this time last year, and that is 46 more this year than last year. And the largest class in the Milshu ISD is first grade with 124 students enrolled now. The Milshu City Council will have a special meeting on Monday afternoon at 2.30 at the Council Chambers in City Hall to interview candidates for the new city manager's position that will be open next year here in Milshu after David Brunson retires at the end of this year. Then the council will also meet on Tuesday at 12.30 in the afternoon, and they will also be interviewing more candidates for the Milshu city manager's position and take action, if any, on the hiring a new city manager. Don't forget, Election Day is Tuesday. The polls in Texas are open from 7 in the morning till 7 at night. And in Bailey County, voters can vote at the Bailey County Civic Center. There are seven propositions on the ballot. That's Tuesday, 7 to 7, in the state of Texas. 
the high officially in Milshu on Sunday was 75. The low was 33. On Monday morning, we started this week out at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time at 35 degrees. On Saturday, we dipped down to a low of 32 degrees. It wasn't a killing frost. It only lasted for a very short period of time. The high on Saturday was 66 degrees. And now, Five Area Telephone West Plains Telecommunications brings you the weather forecast for Muleshoe, Sudan, Amherst, Earth, and our entire vicinity. But first, a message from our sponsor. Secure your life with fast technologies available through five area, whether you're in Muleshoe or anywhere in the world. Security and automation services for your home, farm, or business available now through your hometown company, Five Area Plans, starting now at $20 per month. Fast Technologies offers live and recordable video surveillance. Control your door locks and garage doors, whether you're in your recliner, around the corner, or in Dallas. Lighting control and motion detection. Door and window sensors. Receive alerts through text, email, or phone. Plans again starting at $20 per month. Call today. 5 Area, 806-272-5533 or go by their website at 5area.com. They will also be happy to give you an on-site demo, so stop by their offices today. 302 Uvalde Street on the west edge of Muleshoe, a DSL internet connection is required. That's home, farm, and business security and automation services available through Fast Technologies at 5 Area. Call 806-272-5533 for more information. Well, at the end of last week and on Saturday, the rain never quite panned out for the Muleshoe area as it did rain just slightly on the Mules as they ended up their big game Friday night in Demet that they won 47-6 to over the Bobcats. But midweek, we have a slight chance of rain. Again, this week, sunny with a high near 78 today on Monday. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Clear tonight with a low around 43. South-southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunny on Tuesday with a high near 78 degrees. South-southwest wind between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear Tuesday night, low around 47. Wednesday, mostly sunny, high near 73 degrees. South-southwest winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Then Wednesday night, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy with a low around 49. Thursday, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mostly sunny, high near 65 degrees mostly clear Thursday night, low around 35. Friday, sunny, high near 63. Friday night, mostly clear, low around 35. Repeating our forecast for today on Monday, a sunny day with a high near 78 degrees. Southwest winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour, then clear tonight, low around 43. Sunny on Tuesday, high near 78. Tuesday night, mostly clear, low around 47. Five Area Telephone West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Call now at Muleshoe High School and talk with Sharon Johnson, the MHS school nurse, to make an appointment to donate blood on Wednesday. The number to call is 806-272-7309. The MHS Fall Blood Drive will be held from 9 to 3 on this Wednesday, that's November the 4th, in the Blood Mobile, which will be parked in front of MHS on West 3rd Street. The number to call now, 806-272-7309. Every person who donates blood will receive a free t-shirt on Wednesday at the Blood Drive. On Tuesday, the Lady Mules, JV, and Varsity basketball teams will scrimmage New Deal and Slayton. The New Deal game will be for the JV and the Varsity will scrimmage Slayton and both games will be at 5 o'clock on Tuesday afternoon. Also, 
the Milshi Mills football team will, of course, still be in their regular season on the football field Friday night with their last regular game of the season and their foe, the Littlefield Wildcats. Kickoff time is 7.30. On Friday afternoon, there will be a pep rally, and it will honor the senior class of 2016 of MHS at 3.15 in the Millshoe High School new gym. The MISD junior class will serve their annual turkey dinner before the Millshoe Littlefield football game on Friday night. Tickets are on sale now from all juniors and their sponsors, and some of their parents have tickets too, and they're $10 a ticket for turkey, gravy, dressing, mashed potatoes, green beans, cranberry sauce, pumpkin cake, rolls, tea, and water. Now, if you want to dine in, They'll be open in the MHS cafeteria from 5 to 7. And you can call for free deliveries at no additional charge between 4.30 and 6.30 Friday afternoon, 806-272-7305. All money goes to the MHS junior class. Also, we want to say good luck on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock in Round Rock. Evan Paez, a junior at Muleshoe High School, will be running in the state cross-country meet. Evan Paez, we are certainly behind you. And next week at Muleshoe High School, all veterans will be honored on Wednesday, November the 11th, Veterans Day at 9.30 in the Kerry Moore Auditorium of Muleshoe High School with a Veterans Day Assembly. All veterans in our entire area are urged to attend. That's Veterans Day, Wednesday, November the 11th. Also, veterans will be honored that same day at the Oneida Wagnon Senior Citizen Center with lunch. The Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous in the al Family Group meet every Monday and Friday nights at 7 o'clock in the First United Methodist Church. And please use the extreme south door of the church to enter. Congratulations to Ms. Ms. Cody Kirby on the birth of a new baby daughter. Ellie Marie arrived on October the 22nd and has two big sisters to take care of her. They are Kobe and Reagan. And the grandparents here in Milshoe are Mr. Miss Davy Lawrence. David Lawrence. Congratulations to Abby and Cody Kirby on the birth of Ellie Marie. The Trinity Christian Center Church will have their 16th annual Christmas in the Country concert to benefit Muleshoe Mills on Wheels Incorporate on Thursday night, December the 3rd at 7 o'clock at the church, featuring Radon Stanford, Kenneth Richards, Betty Hutton, Heather Garcia, Michelle Young, Charles and Briley Scavasas, Alyssa and Nathan Stanford, the Trinity Christian Center Church Choir and Band. The doors will open that night at 6, so come early. Admission is free. There will be a free will offering taken for Muleshoe Meals on Wheels. Chips are mm, delicious. Have you been wasting time looking for a good meal? Well, go to Liao's Mexican Restaurant in Miyoshi at 1010 West American Boulevard and try the Hermes Special. If you are under 12, try the grilled cheese. 
You know Liao's and Yoshu is the original Liao's Mexican restaurant. I highly recommend it. Five generations of our family have eaten at Liao's. What did you say, Isla? Chips are mmm delicious. And this edition of the Mule Train News is being brought to you today by Liao's Mexican Restaurant along with the First Bank, where being the boss just got easier. As a business owner, everyday details can take up so much of your time. The business check card from First Bank has seven built-in benefits to help manage tasks so you can spend more time doing what you love, running your business. Work smart, worry less with the First Bank business check card available now at 202 South 1st Street, 806 272 Four five one five. The First Bank business check card available now. The First Bank is member FDIC and an equal housing lender. The Milshu Area Medical Center is upgrading their computer software, and patients need to register at the hospital front desk. Hospital admission forms have been modified. Now, at the clinics, patients may notice that the exam time will take a little longer as providers enter information into their new electronic health records. At the Muleshoe Area Medical Center, the Muleshoe Family Medicine Clinic, and the Medical Clinic of Muleshoe. Good luck to Jewel Lozano, Jillian Rojas, Mercedes Manzanellis, and Braden Shipman as they are going on Saturday to the All Region Choir and Junior High. These are 7th and 8th graders at Watson Junior High. There is a regional clinic and a concert both on this Saturday. At the Onita Wagnon Senior Citizen Center on Tuesday morning at 10, they're going to play Bunko on November the 3rd and Bingo on Thursday, November the 5th at 1.30 after lunch. There's always Domino's 80 Monday through Friday. They're open 8 to 4 and also they're working on a jigsaw puzzle. It's a lot of fun. Come by and enjoy the activities and watch Channel 6 on their giant TV screen. Lunch is served weekdays at 11.30. And there will be a Thanksgiving holiday meal served next week on Veterans Day, November the 11th for everyone. Also, all senior citizens are urged to come. On Monday, November the 2nd, they're serving Sloppy Joe on a bun, country potato salad, carrots, and zucchini with creamy fruit squares and your choice of drink for lunch. On Tuesday, beef tip noodles, medley blend vegetables, corn, chocolate cake, and strawberries with your drink. On Wednesday, it's always grilled steak with mashed sweet potatoes, green beans, tossed vegetable salad, low-cal French dressing, cornbread, and tropical fruit salad. Thursday, chicken fajitas, fajita vegetables, chuck wagon corn, Spanish rice, fruit cocktail with flour tortillas, and every Friday, they serve your choice of either fish or chicken strips. The Narcotics Anonymous meetings are held in Milshu every Tuesday night at 7 at the Trinity Christian Center Church at 1723 West American Boulevard. For more information about NA, call Allen at 806 240 2857 or Stacy at 806 272 3108. That's Narconics Anonymous meetings every Tuesday night at 7 in Milshu at the Trinity Christian Center Church. 
on this coming Saturday morning from 10 to 11, the annual coat drive will be held at the 16th and Avenue D Church of Christ Fellowship Hall. And they will be distributing all the winter coats and jackets to local residents. At the First United Methodist Church of Muleshoe, it was a very special Sunday morning worship service on this past Sunday. They celebrated All Saints Day and remembered the lives of these saints, Charlene Trotter, Jack Reynolds, Kirby Brantley, and Jimmy May Porter of Lubbock, formerly of Muleshoe, the aunt of Ed Cox. And these were members of the First United Methodist Church of Muleshoe who had died during the past year. The Muleshoe Mary Market will be held this Saturday at the Bailey County Civic Center from 10 to 4. There is free admission and there will be over 50 vendors. They will have breakfast and lunch both and Professional photographs will be taken with Santa at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. Don't forget the new hours at the Bailey County Courthouse will be Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, and Friday, 8 to 1, and they will not be closing during the noon hour. Join the members of the Seeker Sunday School class of the First United Methodist Church for a chat with Connie. Connie Botkin Johnson will be here from Floyd County, and you are invited to bring a friend and enjoy a light sandwich luncheon as Connie Botkin Johnson, a Muleshoe High School graduate, shares her inspiration and books. Tales of Hackett County next week on Monday, November the 9th at noon in the parlor of the First United Methodist Church of Muleshoe, 507 West 2nd, and that will be 12 till 1. In our bargain basement, Betty Ennis is still in need of hiring someone to come one or two days each week and stay for just a few hours with her mother, Alice Sims. If you're interested in this job, please call Betty Ennis at 806-946-8114. We'll be back with more mule train in a moment. Stay tuned, please. Winterize your home now at Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street, right here in Muleshoe. Get your heater up and running with air filters in various sizes and brands now at Frying Cox. Also, they have a great selection of rubber boots and heavy-duty rain gear and raincoats in now, along with pipe insulation. They have tarps, several different sizes. They have poly, canvas, and drawstring tarps all available at Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street. Make sure to like them on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Fry and Cox. Wedding shower selections now in at Tattered Tumbleweed 1405 West American Boulevard. They have wedding selections for Anna and Adam Lozano. That's Adam and Anna Mendoza Lozano, Tatum Hethington, and Kelly Burchett also available now. A selection of boys cinch uh, button-up long sleeve shirts, 25% off, and all of their scarves are marked down 30% off now at Tattered Tumbleweed. They also have plus size tops, tan and turquoise that go great with their leggings. 2T uh, through 1012 little girl dresses brand new in from uh, Market and Hurley caps, t-shirts, and sweatshirts all available now. Tattered Tumbleweed, 1405 West American Boulevard. Like them at facebook.com backslash tattered tumbleweed. On your prayer list, please continue to remember Bruce Purdy and his wife, Cindy. Dr. Purdy is back at work and doing very well. We're so grateful to say. 
Bill Milburn of Amarillo, the son of Barbara Milburn of Milshue, who had heart valve replacement and open heart surgery last Thursday at Baptist St. Anthony's Hospital in Amarillo. And, of course, Bill Milburn is a Milshue High School graduate. Reed Markle, who remains in Plano undergoing treatment, and we're so glad that he can remain there in Plano for his treatment at this time. Tommy Bratcher and her husband Charles, Alton Burton and her husband Alton, Joellen and Barry Cowart, Bobby Nell and Jack Dunham, Leona Harris, Nina and Bob Landers, Laurenette Mason, Jamie Myers, Mary Ellen Robertson, Maxine and Clinton Rogers, Doris and R.L. Scott, Brian Taylor, Dorothy Turner, Glenn Watkins, Dorothy and Grady Sarley of Bovina are all in our prayers and the families of 74 year old Lois Atwood of Muleshoe, Norma Jo Prather, 79 of Bovina, formerly of Muleshoe, Jim Smith, 71 of Earth, Linda White is on our prayer list. She lives in Farwell, and she formerly lived here in Milshew. Remember, our military men and women were coming up on Veterans Day, especially those who are serving right now our country and also those who have served our country as well and all of their families. Some of them are... Bo and Brad Henry, T.J. Brantley, Dusty Turner, Judd Glover, Jared Finney, Joel Coward, Ranger King, Michael Woodard, and so many, many others. Well, it is just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News Program. Brought to you today by the First Bank along with Liao's Mexican Restaurant. You can find our latest Mule Train rotating on Reach Broadband Channel 6. And find our last several months worth of Mule Train News programs. Archive free of charge on demand anytime you want to listen to them. MuleshoeTV.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith. Artists in residence at National Parks. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. The board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith and remind you to find them online, bcecoop.com. 2016 is the 100th anniversary of the National Park Service. You'll see a lot of uh, different events going on. We'll definitely have presentations and guided hikes and things like that. National Parks have an artist in residence program. We've had a number of artists over the years, but just of late, the last two years, we have formalized where we have three designated periods where we can invite the artist to come in. So there's a spring, summer, and fall residency. Uh, the artists stay two to four weeks. They um, go out into the field, get inspired by the natural scenery. They may paint, write poems, compose music. They donate one piece to the park to use uh, for educational purposes. And then they also do a public presentation and teach the public about their process. Or, you know, it could be anything just to get people to look at the park through the eyes of an artist. Mike Haney of Guadalupe Mountains National Park. We have a gallery right here at the park, so we display things there. We have the option of uh, actually be loaning some things out to some other public areas, and there's an opportunity next year possibly to uh, work with a local museum to uh, have a display. They are interested for the centennial anniversary of the National Park Service to have a park service display, and it would be a great way to reach out to our local neighbors. There's opportunities with this Artists in Residence program and the artwork that we do have to maybe make a nice display or installation somewhere. Artists can apply for the position at the National Park's website. 
there's a, a long period where people can submit the work and then we have a review panel that goes over that and we contact the artists and invite them if they're available. Famous photographer Lawrence Parent is at the park now. A lot of our artists are, are new and we want to support that too. So we, we would like to see people that are midway and established in their careers, but we also like to inspire people and be an exciting chapter in the beginning of their careers too. The Park Service wants more young people to visit a park. It does seem generationally that people are less active and so there's great concern with the Park Service to get kids out into the parks. The idea is to you know get off of the TV and the video games and turn that off for just a little bit and look at the world around you. Michael Haney of Guadalupe Mountains National Park. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the sound of Texas. Time for the market report brought to you today by Stephen DeMint, financial advisor with Edward Jones, located right here in Muleshoe in his office at 104 West 2nd Street. Call 806-272-4102. He's member SIPC. He can assist you with any of your financial needs no matter where you live. The market report was recorded this Monday, November the 2nd, 2015 at 11.30 a.m. This is Dana Rampey of Edward Jones, member of the New York Stock Exchange Incorporated, bringing you the daily financial market report. U.S. stocks are trading higher after their best monthly gain in four years. In earnings news, HSBC's third quarter profit exceeded expectations driven by lower regulatory costs and resilient credit quality. In economic news, U.S. manufacturers expanded at the slowest pace in more than two years in October. Treasuries are off in early trading as the rally in equities is dampening the haven appeal of government debt. So far this morning in the S&P 500, the best performing sector is health care, while the worst performing sector is utilities. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 95 points to 17,759. The S&P 500 Index is up 14 points to 2,093. And the NASDAQ Composite Index is up 48 to 5,102. This morning, volume on the New York Stock Exchange is moderate with 221 million shares traded. Advancers are outnumbering decliners by a 5 to 2 margin. In commodity markets, the spot price of gold is down $6 to 1136 The spot price of silver is down $0.20 cents to $15. And crude oil prices are down $0.39 cents to $46. In bond markets, the 30-year Treasury yield is currently 2.96%, and the 10-year Treasury yield is 2.18%. In stocks of local interest, Apple is up $1.40 to $120.91. ConocoPhillips is up $0.33 cents to $53.70. Johnson & Johnson is up $1.25 to $102.28. AT&T is down $0.02 cents to $33.49. Pfizer is up $1.22 to $35.04. Excel Energy is down nine cents to thirty five fifty four. Walmart is down twelve cents to fifty seven twelve. Procter and Gamble is down twenty four cents to seventy six fourteen. Walt Disney is up seventy cents to one fourteen forty four. And HSBC Holdings is down twelve cents to thirty eight ninety five. This is Dana Rempe of Edward Jones, member SIPC, serving individual investors with personalized attention and long term financial advice at one hundred four West Second Street in Milshu. Daily commentary is also located on our website at edwardjones.com.